Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Here's a headline from the Crypto Basic. XRP targets three plus dollars as it finally pushes to breach six year trend line. And oh my, how time flies when you're having fun. I've been holding XRP for over six years. And, um, and look, it's, it is what it is. I thought I would have had uh, my life changing wealth from XRP sooner, but then Kim Jong Gensler and Jay Clayton happened. Can't control that. That being said, we gonna get ours. XRP, so long as Bitcoin hits a new all-time high, XRP will hit a new all-time high. That's what I believe, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and if it goes to zero, so be it. I do not believe that is what's most probable, <clears throat> and so I'm just going to sit here and continue to hold. XRP is still by a lot my largest crypto holding, even after um, the market's been rallying. It's still by a lot it's my largest uh, uh, holding. I went a little nuts with purchasing <laughs> in the first few years in the world of crypto, uh, purchasing XRP. Um, but my gosh, it's crazy to think it has been over a six year journey for me personally. And for many of you out there, I mean, I understand like a lot of you, you've been around just a few years, but there are a lot of you listening that have been around about as long as me or even longer. And it's just, it's just, it's so like, it's kind of, I don't know how to word it. It's like satisfying having greater conviction, especially after today, that it is reasonable to think that Bitcoin will be hitting new all time highs. Cause if Bitcoin's going to hit new all time highs, I just, I have a really hard time imagining that that XRP wouldn't follow suit. Um, but, but anyway, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And indeed, folks, I do believe that our wait as XRP holders is almost over, but we got to let Bitcoin do its thing. And there was this uh, post from uh, XRP Crypto Wolf that resonated with me. It's a simple, it's a simple uh, perspective, but I like it. He wrote, Bitcoin hitting $63,500 is all the confirmation we needed that the bull run is here to stay. And folks, doesn't it seem that way? Because again, I understand. It's like at the time I'm recording this, Bitcoin hasn't yet hit a new all-time high, got up to about $64,000. But getting to that level is outside of the realm of what any of the people who were bearish on XRP thought was possible. So the fact that that happened, if anything, doesn't that instill confidence that, hey, this is actually probably likely to happen because it shows it can run outside of what even the bears thought was probable. And not just a little outside, way outside of what the, the people who were bearish on Bitcoin thought, thought was reasonable to suppose would happen. So, and so again, if that happens though, that's why I'm excited for us here in the XRP community. Uh, and there was also that I wanted to address this too. So there's a post um, from uh, from Credible Crypto, um, and uh, he he reposted something from somebody named Cryptic the Caddy, and who wrote, "Might the conventional rotation not happen because the liquidity is in the Bitcoin ETFs and hindering the rotation of uh, to alts?" And so, folks, what the, what the guy's getting at here is. Typically, when money's money's invested in Bitcoin, and then when people want to take profits, uh, some some cash out to USD or whatever their fiat currency is, but a lot of that just gets invested in large cap coins, and then uh, when those run, profits taken, and then those get thrown into mid cap coins, small cap, so on and so forth, right? But the the point that he's bringing up here is, well, if the money's being thrown into Bitcoin ETFs because that's in the world of traditional finance on traditional uh, stock exchanges, well, that money can't rotate into alts, right? And I've actually talked about this on the channel, but I think uh, Credible Crypto um, does a pretty good job explaining why this isn't something we need to worry about here. And this is in line with what I had articulated on my channel in the past. And so Credible Crypto wrote the following. Seen murmurs of this idea recently, and this is where I will again emphasize to ignore the narratives. ETF money may not flow to alts, but there is a ton of other capital that will, will enter this space on a breach of prior all-time highs. And so, folks, folks, let's pause to think about that. We haven't seen... And so, fine, I mean, yeah, there was activity today massive on, like, Coinbase got it. Uh, that's that, that's the first time, though, since since the bottom in November of 2022 that we've really seen something like this. Uh, and, and we know that there haven't been a lot of Google searches for Bitcoin, so presumably that's going to be increasing. But it's typically not the case that those... that Like, the new money jumps in until the, the, the all-time highs are hit. And then the, the headlines are out there and mainstream media so on and so forth. You, you know what happens. Everybody's talking about it. And, um, and so we, we haven't hit that yet, but that happening will be enough. <laughs> and so that's kind of what he's getting at here. It's incredible, incredible crypto continues. While ETF flows may be substantial, they are not the only force in the market. Greed never dies. 
And if Bitcoin goes parabolic, money will find its way into alts one way or another, like it always does eventually. I will also add, when I say alts will run after Bitcoin breaks prior highs, I don't necessarily mean they will start running the next day. When we breach the 20k highs for the first time, the alt reversal slash Bitcoin dominance top began about two weeks after 20k was breached, when Bitcoin paused after hitting 32,000-ish. So the key here is Bitcoin breaks prior all-time high, and at that point, when it begins its first major pause slash consolidation, that is when attention shifts back to alts in mass, and we probably see a peak in dominance. Until then... Bitcoin leads, dominance rises, and alts take a backseat for the most part. You will want to look at individual alt slash BTC pairings for more nuance, ultimately on timing. And so this is why it doesn't matter that uh, if you look at the XRP BTC chart, it doesn't matter it looks like garbage. Because by, by it looking like garbage to me, it actually doesn't look like garbage. Because as I keep saying recently, because it really matters, and I like to reiterate this because it's a crucial point, when you see this big of a discrepancy, when you see the XRP BTC chart um, at lows that have only happened a few other times in history, well, if history is to kind of rhyme with itself, even if not perfectly repeat, that's when XRP starts running. Because there's a big enough discrepancy, people start noticing that and be like, maybe the market's not sufficiently uh, you know, uh, pricing XRP. People think that it's, it's too low relative to Bitcoin. And then inevitably what happens is buyers start stepping in. And then it, it, it becomes exponential. And then you have face melting. Like, that's, that's what ultimately happens. So we do need to wait for Bitcoin, but we probably don't need to wait that much longer. And even if XRP lags behind, even if, say, we have to wait months, okay, whatever. It's going to be a fun few months, isn't it? And I'm, not, and I'm just to be clear, I'm not predicting a timeline. I don't know when this is all going to happen. I, I'm here for the ride, whatever it is, basically. That, that's my stance. You know, I, I know I can't control this. I know I'm not really big in the prediction game, certainly not on price. I never make price predictions. I just believe that over the long haul, yes, number go up. I, I always believe that. Speaking of number go up, take a look at this. This is from uh, a guy who goes by the name Checkmate. He's the lead on-chain analyst at Glassnode. I'm a big fan of Glassnode. Because I'm a data guy. I, just, I, I think a lot of people have a lot of opinions without digging into data, and it's, eh, it is what it is. But um, in this case, it, it's more just an intriguing point. He says, here is a fun Bitcoin fact that you probably won't believe at first. Bitcoin has added $800 billion in market cap since January 1st, 2023. The market cap was just $320 billion at the start of last year and has since hit $1.2 trillion, uh, becoming the 10th largest asset on Earth. That's astonishing. <laughs> And he, by the way, he posted this this morning before the run up to, you know, 64,000 and wherever we are now. Um, still above, safely above 60,000, of course, but um, insanity. <laughs> that is it. This is what you want to see. Uh, here's a post from chart analyst Greg Crypto sharing expectations for XRP and their high. You should check this out. He says uh, XRP market cap $1 trillion, just the beginning. An update. Looking back at XRP's staggering 2017 surge of 100,000% and the potential 7,000% increase, Fib 1.618, may seem like a minor blip, but it actually represents just 7% of the 2017 increase, which is a tiny percentage. My target is a $1 trillion market cap near Fibonacci 1.615, so a 7% increase compared to 2017 will hit... Fib 1.618, which is a key target for technical analysts. Achieving a 7% 7, 7 gain from 2017 uh, cycle is extremely achievable this time. Alternatively, comparing it to the 2021 increase of around 1,600%, which put the market cap around $235, then dividing the $235 billion market cap by the circulating supply of $55 billion, suggests a $4.20 move. Also, let, let us push... The, the price uh, near FIB, 1.212, a $300 billion market cap. This projection would put the price of XRP at $5.50. XRP Army, stay steady. I won't advise you on your actions, but I'll share mine. I'm putting all my profits into XRP while it's below $1, as I see a 5 to 10x return ahead is programmed and guaranteed. And so again, I don't make price predictions. That sounds perfectly reasonable. 
if anything, it's conservative. And just my humble opinion. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But a 10x from here? I mean, from where it is right now. And so I understand he was talking about, you know, from when he posted this, uh, maybe it would have been 550. So with, with XRP being close to 60 cents, it's still a little under six bucks, you know. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. And again, it's just so exciting because we are at that moment where it's, it's, it's pretty much make it or break it. Because Bitcoin's going to hit a new all-time high, probably. That, that's my lean in anyway. Um, and I, I feel a bit more confident than yesterday. Like I said it yesterday, and I said it the day before that. I said that's my leaning. But I, 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 I do have stronger conviction now because we got to these levels that were supposed to be impossible. And it's still chilling, you know? And you saw open interest wiped out. And then, you know, Bitcoin's still hovering above $60,000 seemingly safely. Uh, that's insane. And we haven't had retail mania yet. Like, that's insane. And we're at this these price levels. So, again, all that to say, when Bitcoin goes, yes, finally, XRP. It's going to be one of the best days of my freaking life when I finally see XRP running after all of these years, over six years, and I finally get to start taking some damn profits from it. Because I've never sold a single XRP in my entire life. I'm a stubborn guy when it comes to investing. Like, I will, I will outpatient anyone else. And I don't, by the way, just to be clear, I want this to happen. I don't want it to sound like I'm uh, bitching or anything like that or that I'm impatient. I'm actually not. Like, I'm ready for it to happen, sure. Uh, but however long it takes, I'm here. Because that is the emotional state that you need. That's the mentality you need to have to be successful investing, period. Whether it's in equities or the crypto asset class, whatever, period. You just, you, you have to understand you can't control when stuff goes. When it goes, it goes. And either you have exposure when that happens or you don't. And so I firmly understand that. And, and so I, I don't feel impatient, but yes, I would like it to happen now it's been over six years. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, and then this, XRP targets three plus dollars as it finally pushes to breach six year trend line. A prominent market analyst has set an XRP breakout target above the three dollar mark should the crypto asset eventually breaches its extensive six year downward trend line. XRP has been largely underperforming since it collapsed from the all-time high price of $3.30 in January 2018. The crypto asset has remained below this price level, unable to even reclaim the $2 price territory, despite experiencing the bull market in 2021. So, yeah, so I'll pause note, depends on where you're pulling the numbers from. Different sources have different all-time highs for XRP, and I, I shared a screen grab of XRP at $2 according to Live Coin Watch when that happened in, in April of 2021. So there's a record of it. It did hit it. It just depends on where. It didn't hit it in every single market, but that's where you get those discrepancies, just to be clear. Peace continues. Notably, some believe the SEC's lawsuit, which began in December 2022, was responsible for um, XRP's inability to leverage the 2021 market for a new all-time high. Now, folks, I'll pause and note. This is crypto media, uh, which is why that mistake's on your screen. It was December of 2020, not December of 2022. <sighs> a bunch of C students. Amid the speculation, XRP's underperformance since 2018 has resulted in the formation of a downward trend line. Market analyst JD called attention to this downtrend, hinting at a potential breakout from XRP after six years. And I don't need to read the rest of the article, but uh, here's, here's the chart that he shared. XRP price chart going back six years. And here's what JD wrote. XRP, will the six-year trend line finally break out on the non-log scale? After six years of those who know what they hold, with 1x gain, will finally make life-changing gains. Make sure you're a part of the 5% who takes calculated profit. Oh, yes, folks, I absolutely will. I will start selling somewhere probably close to the $5 mark, even if it's just selling like 5% or so. I'll make the decision on the fly at the moment. Uh, but anywhere, in the, just and then I'll be scaling out fairly rapidly, probably. Because when it starts going, like, let's be real. You have a long time to dollar cost average into a position, but when XRP goes, historically, you haven't had a lot of time to scale out. That was true last market cycle, and it was true in 2017 when it made that big move up to almost four bucks in about two and a half weeks, and then that was pretty much it. So yeah, probably going to be selling XRP every single day, just getting broad exposure to those price points, not worried about hitting the top, uh, not even going to try to do that. I'm just going to try and exit to where it's sufficiently enticing for me personally, and then if it just kept, keeps running past that, I don't give a damn. I just, I don't care. I will have mine. It will be fine. That's pretty much it. But, you know, he's noting here, again, it's just, it's another piece of the puzzle you can look at where it's like, this is a make it or break it type of situation where either it's going to happen very soon or we're very wrong and we're going to be a bunch of sad pandas. I just, I don't believe 
that the the entire asset class is going to move in tandem with pretty much everything moving to the upside and that XRP won't be a part of that. I think that concept is absurd. Unless, unless Bitcoin's really not going to hit a new all-time high, but it seems increasingly likely Bitcoin will hit a new all-time high. Do we agree on that at least? I mean, look at what happened today. Look what happened yesterday. It's crazy out there. So all, all this is done is uh, provided additional conviction for me. And when we do get, assuming we get anyway, a Bitcoin new all-time high, that will be the moment where I have mega conviction, yes, this is happening for XRP2, but I want to see it from Bitcoin first technically. And then once I see that, my attitude will be, yes, it's, it's coming. Like, I will have the strongest conviction in XRP hitting new all-time high in interim price discovery that I've ever had. But just we got to get to that moment. I think we're close, though. It's really an exciting time to be seeing all this stuff happen, so... I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.